created by Anthony Rizzo, Sydney, Australia. On this month of the RAH War Series, Australia's first naval battle in the Great War. I am Riz, and welcome to the RAH War Series. Last month, the AIF was preparing to send troops to Egypt, however they were delayed due to German ships in the area. This month, on the 1st of November, the AIF and the NCEF are finally being shipped in. Very funny guys. Originally to Britain, but will be rerouted to Egypt to defend the Suez Canal. Still, the German East Asia squadron was still in the area. Ever since the war broke out, the Israeli Navy has been patrolling and clearing out German ships and German controlled territories in the Pacific. Around the time of the Battle of Peter Parker, the Australian Navy was mostly unopposed as they were up against German merchant ships. The German Navy in East Asia didn't make it in time for Australia's expedition force to take over their colonies. Also, Japan was also a bit involved in a few small islands, so instead they were fighting elsewhere and disrupting supplies in East Asia. By November, the German East Asia squadron left for the Falkland Islands, except for one light cruiser. The SMS Emden, after the Emden took part at the Battle of Penang, sinking a few merchant ships down the coast and capturing the steamship Beresk. Not related to the battle, it was just after the battle. Anyway, the ship was making its way close to Australia. On the 8th, the captain decided to take out the wireless station at Cocos Island. They raided the island and took out the station, but not before the men sent a distress call before it was then jammed and destroyed. The HMS Sydney got the message while it was escorting a troop transport at the time, and it was on its way. On the 9th, the Battle of Cocos had begun with a surprise fire by the Emden at 9.40. The naval battle lasted until 11.20. Both ships were damaged but Emden suffered the most, with only one gun in operational and so many of her men dead and injured, the captain ordered the Emden to be beached. While this was happening, the HMAS Sydney broke off the attack and pursued the SS Buresk, which it was close to the Emden at the time. It then soon was scuttled and sank after the crew was captured. By the 10th, the HMAS Sydney came back to Emden. Within a few hours, the Emden crew surrendered, except for 50 sailors who escaped to Constantinople. This was by all means an Australian victory. It may not be as big as it seems, but it was important as it would be mostly smooth sailing for Anzac troops and supplies heading to Egypt and perhaps going to another location for another front. And lastly, a silent Australian propaganda film called Days was released, which unfortunately, it's a lost film. Thank you for watching to the end of the video. Please like and subscribe, it brings a smile to my face. If you want to see Australia's first fight in the Great War, check out the video, The Battle of Peter Parker. It's, it's going to be popping up somewhere here. Just click it. Click it. You know what? That's it. I'm done.